r slash ask reddit what is the greatest design f up of the human body done no but i wish my tongue could clean my teeth like a toothbrush does the worst moment of the day is when you know you have to brush your teeth but no you're already cuddled up in bed due to pregnancy sickness i've spent the last three months vomiting almost daily and the most common trigger brushing my teeth i'm going to be honest i've skipped a few times because i just want to keep my food in my stomach the breathing hole and the food hole are stupid close. The fun hole and the sewer hole are stupid close. The fun hole also doubles as a sewer hole. The brain knowing it's doing wrong but still pushing itself to do it for some dopamine. Anaphylaxis. Your body will choke itself to death in an attempt to protect itself. Roll your ankle once and it's never the same. Roll your ankle enough that you get rubber ankles and it stops becoming so much of an issue. Source soccer player. Hi, normal human here. What the F does this mean? Sometimes I choke on water. I choke on my saliva. A lot. Really, the whole respiratory system needs an upgrade in patch 2.0. Women having to bleed and hurt for about a week every month just because they didn't get pregnant. Being pregnant is not that great either. Source. Currently, 33 weeks pregnant, would much rather lay an egg. I feel like you'll basically be laying an egg in seven weeks. The knees. For a body part that needs to endure so much stress, they are also very delicate. It's one of the most commonly injured body parts, and it doesn't seem to heal well without surgical intervention. Terra meniscus. Probably going to need surgery to get part of it cut out, since most of the meniscus doesn't have a blood supply and can't heal itself. Our knees do so much and take a crap load of stress every day. Do one little thing wrong or have one little thing not line up right and you hurt for the rest of your life. They also affect our feet, hips and back when they don't work right. They are easy to destroy on our enemy. It's great that they are hinged so we can walk and run and jump and crawl and all the other crap they allow us to do, but they are weak. After 14 years of constant pain and getting ready for my eighth knee surgery, I have days I wish my docs would cut my legs off above the knees and give me prosthetics. My pain scale starts at a two. I will never see a zero again in my life and I'm not a candidate for a replacement. Your brain that just randomly decides it wants to die. Mental illness, specifically depression. You paradoxically want to isolate, immobilize, refuse to get help. The illness is parasitical and self, preserving until... And if it wins with death, you don't think in depression that you put on a gray veil and are seeing the world through the haze of a bad mood. You think that the veil has been taken away, the veil of happiness, and that now you're seeing truly Andrew Solomon. Sacrum bone is just a fucked up tail and it really hurts if you fall on it. Teeth. What the hell? I don't have to go twice a year to get my armpits scraped out, lest they rot off. That is why I removed my teeth five years ago. One that stood out to me is when my professor said, we are terrible at detecting oxygen levels. Also, I think this is more evolutionary, but the fact that we respond to psychological problems with the flight or fight response. It's like we can't tell the difference. Buddy's just like, ah, stress. Have some cortisol. Let's go. Let's go. Body gets me ready to fight a tiger, but I just need to do my homework. Better yet, if you have an anxiety disorder of any kind, the brain is fighting tigers 24 slash 7. We laugh about this now. But when those raging tigers finally show up, I'll be able to run a very short distance as depression caused me to overeat, and I'll probably in turn be eaten by the tigers. Tinnitus. Hearing loss, sure. But a lingering constant ringing. F that. That shouldn't be possible. I have extremely loud tinnitus 24 slash 7. It sucks my energy away like nothing else. Worst thing is, I'll never get to enjoy silence in my life ever again. So do I. Going on 12 years now. Sometimes it changes pitch and sometimes it's a tiny bit quieter, but it's 24 slash 7. I wear hearing aids too, and at night I have to take them out. Then I can't hear music or anything at night to try to block out the tinnitus. So I've learned to sleep with it. How common it is for women to die during childbirth. What the F nature? I did what my hormones were begging me to do since I was 13 -y. And you kill me for it. Never mind the fact that tearing during childbirth is super common, and some women tear all the way through into the anus. Each time I've had kids, my placenta didn't want to detach right away like it should, and I was losing tons of blood. Also not optimal. 
I only half remember this, so hopefully someone can elaborate. Part of the human eye is arranged backwards. The optic nerve has to pass through it, which creates a blind spot. Some species have a more efficiently designed eye, where this part is facing forwards, so the optic nerve just plugs into the back of it. These are the answers I was looking for. Because I have food poisoning right now, it would be how our body reacts to illness. I'm shitting straight water, have major stomach cramps and am gassy both ends, and I know that eating food and drinking electrolytes will help me, but my body doesn't want it. If you can. Some stores have Pedialyte popsicles and the kids' health stuff, or near baby care things like diapers. They're sold on a shelf, so you'll have to wait to freeze them later. Popsicles taste a bit better than drinking Pedialyte, and if they're frozen, it's easy to go slow. Rehydrating, I always struggle between chugging or ignoring the drink. We are too squishy for combat. We can buy cloths and armor to upgrade. The spine. Spines and knees. The muscle and skeletal systems that are responsible for the whole walking upright thing are barely functional and incredibly easy to break. Women having periods. They lose so many vital nutrients every month and run the risk of becoming anemic. On top of this, if you are anemic, you bleed more than usual. What the uh, stupid idea? Going through it right now, Urge, it's annoying because there's things I want to do, but I'm also so exhausted as a result. Nothing has a cool-down period. The appendix in the human body is like the thermal exhaust port on the Death Star.